Hi, welcome to another edition of Midweek Prayers from Pastor's Porch. I'm Pastor John Silpert of Covenant Presbyterian Church in Butler, coming to you from my own porch in Zelianople, Pennsylvania. And I wanted to begin today in our time from the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, we're going to be singing a couple of hymns today that are really uh, inspired by the reading of the scripture passage that we're going to have today. Uh, we'll get to that in a little while. The first, uh, but first let's begin an attitude of prayer today. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us worship God as we sing together from Glory to God. And we're going to actually sing number one. Uh, we're just going to sing a couple verses. It is a wonderful tune called Nicaea. Uh, and uh, it is holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. We're just going to sing the first and third verses, okay? Let's get a note. Oh, holy, oh, holy, oh, holy, Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee holy 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 merciful and mighty god in three persons Blessed Trinity, holy, 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 though the darkness hide thee, though the eye of sinfulness thy glory may not see. Only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power, in love and purity. Amen. Wonderful hymn to get us started today. The psalm today, we're going to sing it too, is Psalm 100. And we're going to sing uh, the tone for that. You're going to help me. Uh, and the tone is called Lordship. It's tone number three. Uh, there's the music part of it. Uh, and uh, it goes like this. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Okay, so I'll sing it again. You sing it with me the second time, and then I'll go on and chant the song, okay? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with a song know that the lord is god our maker to whom we belong we are god's people and the sheep of god's pasture 
Enter the gates of the Lord with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. Give thanks and bless God's holy name. God indeed is the Lord whose steadfast love is everlasting, whose faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord our God, we come before you with thanksgiving and praise. For you have created us as your people and you sustain us with your hand. Nourish us in your rich pasture and keep us in your steadfast love that we may bless your name and serve you with gladness day after day. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. So the scripture lesson that I said is the inspiration for the first hymn and the hymn we're going to be singing later is a really another one of those wonderful passages that comes to us from the book of Exodus. And this is when uh, the tent of meeting is described and how that worked for Moses. He set it out beyond the camp and he would go there to meet God. And the pillar and the cloud would come down and rest on it, and the people would know that God was there talking with Moses. Uh, and then, of course, Moses would return with whatever the word was from God. So we're going to pick it up on Exodus chapter 33, uh, and we'll begin at verse 7. Uh, and this is uh, entitled, The Tent Outside the Camp, followed by Moses' Intercession. Exodus 33. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each of them, at the entrance of their tents and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. When all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and bow down, all of them, at the entrance of their tent. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face, as one speaks to a friend. Then he would return to the camp. But his young assistant, Joshua, the son of Nun, would not leave the tent. Moses said to the Lord, See, you have said to me, bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, if I have found favor in your sight, show me your ways, so that I may know you and find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. He said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And Moses said to him, If your presence will not go, do not carry us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people, unless you go with us? In this way, we shall be distinct, I and your people, from every people on the face of the earth. 
the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Show me your glory, I pray. And God said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and will proclaim before you the name, the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, see, there is a place by me where you will stand on the rock. And while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft of the rock. And I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. And then I will take away my hand and you shall see my back. But my face shall not be seen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let's go to our prayer time today. As is our want, we're going to read from John Bailey, his wonderful prayers. And this is a prayer that he has. I said to you, it's a month worth of prayers for day and evening. Uh, and this is the day prayer for 12th, the 12th day. And then we'll conclude with our prayer for this week, the fourth week of Easter, from our Book of Common Prayer, followed by the Lord's Prayer. <clears throat> Let us pray. O eternal God, although I cannot see you with my eyes or touch you with my hands, give me today a clear conviction of your reality and power. Do not let me go into my work believing only in the world of sense and time, but give me grace to understand that the world I cannot see or touch is the most real world of all. My life today will be lived in time, but it will involve eternal issues. The needs of my body will shout out, but it is for the needs of my soul that I must care the most. My business will be with material things, but let me be aware of spiritual things behind them. Let me always keep in mind that the things that matter are not money or possessions, not houses or property, not bodily comforts or pleasures, but truth and honor and gentleness and helpfulness and a pure love of you. Thank you, Lord, for the power you have given me to grasp things unseen, for the strong sense I have that this is not my eternal home for my restless heart, which nothing finite can satisfy. Thank you, Lord, for sending your spirit to fill my heart for all human love and goodness that speak to me of you, for the fullness of your glory poured out in Jesus Christ. On my pilgrim journey toward eternity, I come before you, the Eternal One. Let me not try to deaden or destroy the desire for you that disturbs my heart. Let me rather give myself over to its persuasion and go where it leads me. Make me wise today to see all things within the dimension of eternity and make me brave to face all the changes in my life that come from this vision. 
through the grace of Christ my Savior. Almighty God, you sent Jesus, our good shepherd, to gather us together. May we not wander from his flock, but follow wherever he leads us, listening for his voice and staying near him until we are safely in your fold to live with you forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let's close with the other hymn that is inspired by Exodus 33. I bet you you know what I'm doing. We're, we're going to sing. We're going to sing the first and last verse of Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me. It's a wonderful tune called Top Lady, and it is a wonderful, wonderful hymn. Let's take this with us this week. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Cleanse from guilt and make me pure. While I draw this fleeting breath, when my eyelids close in death, when I soar to worlds unknown, see thee on thy judgment throne rock of ages cleft for me let me hide myself in thee amen i hope you have a great week now may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May all your spirits, souls, and bodies be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus. The one who calls us is faithful. And God will do it. Amen. <laughs>